back to Big Bro and Lil Sis Reacts. I'm Tamash, this is Stan. Hey. And today we are on Superman and Lois, season one, episode five, The Best of Smallville. Um, where did we leave off last time? Um, that was the episode where Lois and Clark got into it with General Lane because he told the kids not to be bothering their dad. But uh, when they don't, they kind of need their dad in certain situations, especially with these abilities emerging. So they re reassured their kids that they can contact their parents when they need to and not to listen to General Lane because you don't tell somebody's kids that. That's weird. Right. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, General Lane's just really upset because Clark's putting more time into his family, but he can't be mad at that because, I mean, that's the man's family. He's trying to be a better family man. He had put Superman first for so long, but he, when your kids start turning teenagers, they need a bit more attention, so he couldn't do that anymore. So I think that pretty much sums what last episode was about. You know, Lois is still going after Morgan Edge. She's not necessarily on the winning side yet, but she's getting there. His secretary, Morgan Edge's secretary, has powers. It seems like that everybody that works for him, works, works for him on the legal side of business, powers. Yep, and she has powers, so she has super strength. And they found a bunch of crypt tonight, so obviously they're going to be thinking about taking down Superman and molding other types of weapons. Uh, we don't know how many metas he has at his disposal, but there are people out there who want their family members who have, are gone, have gone missing found, so they're looking to Lois, but Morgan Edge is trying to silence them. So we're going to see where this goes. This is the last episode before break, and then we are on to Supergirl next week. We do react to that if you guys watch that show. So catch our reactions in place of this one. Um, so yeah, with that being said, full and early reactions are available on Patreon, and we're going to get started. I've always loved Smallville during the fall. changing of seasons, the turning of time. Maria so has picked up the Superman case a bit after criticism what from General Lane. Ball. It was the one weekend every year. Did he just take a bunch of corn? Yeah. Like your grandmother loved it, okay? She used to spend weeks planning what we were going to donate. She made lists, spreadsheets. Your dad learned a lot about giving and helping people in need from this. Your dad's not Superman just because he has powers, you know? Oh, thanks, baby. <laughs> I know you guys aren't sold, but when you see everyone come together like this, the, the sense of community, it's, it's the best of what Smallville is. It just doesn't sound like much of a festival. Well, they have all that stuff, too. The food stands alone. Funnel cakes, fried cheese curd. Oh, the Fishers! Every year they have the sugar bowl stand. They make chocolate bacon. Yeah. Mm, dude. Uh, Eliza's vegetarian, so. Oh. Imagine finally meeting Superman. It's your dad, and he's a big nerd. Because <laughs> that's how people view their parents as lame. I just want to say I love their family's like chemistry. Like they're such a great family on screen. What about you? Do you maybe want to go together? Like, like, like from beginning to end. That is how I understand the concept of together. Um, Sarah, let me just speak for my brother here. He would love to go with you. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan don't even know how to speak. <laughs> he said, like, like, like together from, from beginning to end. What? What are you, what are you talking about? It was she ain't coming. Yeah. Eliza. Hey, hey, Eliza, can we, can we please just talk about this? Okay. Whatever. Yeah, all right. That didn't sound good. Looks like you're third wheeling, bruh. Great. If you consider getting dumped by your girlfriend of over a year, not go. I to see her, great. I wake. Yeah, long distance relationships usually don't tend to last. I mean, he should have expected it. Her name's Eliza. <laughs> I mean, just think about the name. Eliza. I was coming through the tunnel and. I was reading my paycheck. Hadn't seen a number that big in a long time. Just wasn't paying attention, I guess. And hit it real good. Next thing I know, I wake up in Stan County. They found him outside a church. St. Anthony's? They helped me remember who I was. They, they helped you remember? What about the uh, phone messages you left your mom? 
I don't know anything about that. You said the job wasn't what you expected. You sounded scared. Well, the doctors said that with a hit to the head like that, it might take some time for his memories return. Nah, something's up. I don't know if that's not really him, or I don't know if they had him under some type of brainwashing. Yeah. They just wanted her to stop asking questions, so they gave him back. Jaren, someone or tried to kill you. Whoever that is. I have my son back. There's just no more story to tell anymore. Are you we serious? Just came to say thank you. Girl. Yes, we've successfully located Lois Lane, Captain Luthor. Are you certain this is the best course of action? I am. One thing I know for sure about this world, wherever Lois Lane goes, Superman follows. Uh-oh. You don't really want to pick that bone, I'm telling you. Leave her yeah. alone. Great, housewares. All we could give this to you, Lana. Oh, don't you apologize, AD. Not after everything we've been through. Thank you. They be on everybody business. Well, yeah, they're, that's what happens in small towns like that. Everybody knows everybody in their business. Derek Powell from New Carthage. Glad you're back. Get a happy ending. Nah, thumbs up with his head. We'll get the rest of the bags. They gave him powers. Miss Laura, there's something wrong. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel off. Uh, I need to see you. Now. So what I'm gathering is all these metahumans that have been showing up, they all have Superman's powers, the strength. They're, they and made. Made. They're trying to replicate Superman, like make a clone of him. Kind of yeah. like how they did with the Superboy trials. They're trying to make a clone. And people aren't reacting well to it because they don't have Kryptonian DNA. His own kids can't even harness the full power. So you definitely can't make one, not with full power. What the? Easy now. Some real high-end equipment. What you need to put back? I think you got the wrong idea. What is this? Mask guy. Pretty sure you used that crowbar to break into this shop, where he stole 12 TVs, 10 VCRs, and more than a few salad shooters. Not the Smallville vigilante. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I'm guessing he's invulnerable too. You were gonna shoot a kid? Yeah, apparently. Put it back. And the mama oh, didn't seem too, too surprised, so she obviously knows he has powers. And what he's doing. People aren't like. Wondering why Superman's been appearing a lot and then the Clarks just moved I in. Think I think mean, Clark. You think what? He's going in as Clark. I highly doubt that. Oh, you were right. He does this job almost better than Barry. Right. Hey. You're like, how the hell did this fire just go out? <laughs> Am I that good at my job? Now my presence just puts out fire. Is that Frost? He's gonna start investigating, because I was too shady. Sharon Powell was hanging around outside the center. At the fire? Yeah. Was Derek there? No. It seemed like she was looking for someone, though. It could have been him. That doesn't sound right. I'm gonna go down and start asking questions. That's what you do. 
Guys, got your favorite pizza. I'm not hungry. Liza jumped in this morning. Man, you couldn't wait to walk upstairs to say that? Right. <laughs> Gotta remind you. First breakups are rough. Pretty much crawled into an REO speed wagon rabbit hole. Jordan just uh, had to go and announce it to the world, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just about you. <laughs> Why do you want to talk about it? What is there to talk about? I mean, clearly, she knows that she can do better than dating some kid from some middle of nowhere town. I'm sure it's complicated for her, too, sweetie. Our move here was really sudden. Are you seriously taking her side right now? No. I'm just saying, as a former teenage girl myself, you gotta give it some time. She might wake up and remember how incredible you are. And if she doesn't, then it's her loss. Well, thanks for your Cosmo girl opinion, but honestly, I just want to be left alone right now. Chrissy, Kyle saw Derek Powell at the center as the fire trucks arrived. Well, that's 50 shades of suspicious. We don't know anything for sure yet. My big reporter energy knows something crazy. Big reporter crazy. energy. <laughs> I need you to get his mom and get her to the Gazette right now. On it. like? That's so funny because I don't ever see her doing much. I've been looking for you. I have a background in engineering. I yeah. used to work at Luther Corps. Lex Luther, the only human being worse than Morgan Edge. Yeah, yeah. Definitely has a secret. So what exactly brings a Reuters tech reporter to Smallville, Kansas? You. I'm a huge fan. And after reading your piece on Morgan Edge... My heavily redacted piece? I thought there might be a bigger story here, so I did a little digging. You trying to poach my story? It's not my intent. Just want to be on Team Lewis. Not sure I have much of a roster these days. Still have Superman. Unless someone else is covering him now that you've left Metropolis. He's a public figure. Anyone can cover him. Yeah, but you're the one who seems to always have the inside track. Just someone I report on. Sure, but without you, I think we all know there'd be a lot more questions about the guy. I may have found a way to get a look inside the mines. Thanks. Doesn't exactly sound legal. The uh, less you know, the better. He's pretty well undercover. Yeah. I'm sorry about Eliza. It's not about that. Dad, I want to move back. I lost all my friends. I'm probably never going to play football again. And, and now what? You just expect me to drop my life for everyone else's? Look, I know, I know. A lot has changed. But I promise you, it's all going to work out. You don't know that. I get it. There was a time in my life when I felt just like you. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. When was that? When you were, uh, I don't know, lifting an oil tanker or maybe flying laps around Saturn? Jonathan. No, Dad. I'm not like you, and I'm not like Superboy over there, OK? In this town, it is my kryptonite. I hate it. Dad, um, Brian Kelso's older brother has a place, okay? He just graduated from Met U. There's a spare bedroom. It's just outside of downtown. I, I was thinking maybe I could just stay with them. <laughs> no, no, you are not going to stay with the Kelsos. You know what? Maybe I'll just do it anyways then, because that's what Jordan did with football, and you let him get away with it. You called it. Jordan, come on. I'm sorry, Miss Fast is so awesome. Let's go have some real fun. Damn. Go. Our mom would have been like, bah! <laughs> like, get out of my house then. Don't come back. And leave my stuff that I bought here. How <laughs> <laughs> can see what you do a voice suppression? I don't even know. <laughs> you know, we can't keep pretending everything's the same. We have to move on. This is lives. little Clark. Moving on. Oh. I didn't... <laughs> I'm like, who the hell is this skinny ass vigilante? It's flashbacks. Oh, okay. I, I didn't pick up on that. Well, I'm pretty sure that reason wasn't to be Martha Kent's son. Ooh. These white people talking to their parents. I can't. <laughs> yeah. They don't believe in whoopings? No. Um. I have some thoughts on Jonathan, though. If you notice, him and Jordan have flipped spots um, versus the beginning of the season. Jordan started out really low and Jonathan high, and now they've flipped. And Jonathan's just suddenly coming down and, you know, getting worse and getting... You can see him, see him almost starting to get depressed because he's losing everything he had. Who is this? 
If he finds out it was me. Nothing Girl, is going to happen to you. And this was an accident. Morgan Edges. If I can't control secretary. We can fix this. Gotcha. You better chill out before they get you. I hope she don't try to go in there or nothing like that. The same. And if she does, she better send a text to Lois real quick. This home isn't the best place for you anymore. You are special. And I know you're meant for, for bigger things. And that time might have come. What is this? Your father found it in the pod when you arrived. I don't know what it does or what it's for. I just, I just know it belongs to you. And it might be the key to figuring out what your future is. Is he gonna give that to Jonathan? Girl! She bow. What makes you think this time it'll be any different? Trust me. I'm glad she's leaving before she screws up and gets caught. Yeah. Okay. okay. My Yo, dad. Yeah, guys, look! It's everybody's favorite kid brother. It's Mr. Charming, baby. Look at this guy. Hey, Not hey, drunk, guys. Jonathan. Right, no, no. Whoa, 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 relax, 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 okay. relax. Chill, 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 chill. Look, guys, guys, guys. Get this. It's this guy's first date. Ever. It's his first day. Really? <laughs> first time. <laughs> wow. You can't go one weekend without partying like idiots? It's kind of pathetic. Sarah, hey, look, you need Don't to relax. Touch hey, me. we're just kidding. Don't talk to me like that. Look, uh, he's he's having a really rough day. That's all. Oh, you're this having is. a rough okay. day? You have no idea what real problems are like. For people who don't come from a picture perfect family like you. You all can just get drunk and act like total idiots and think that there's never any consequences. Yo, Sarah, we were just we were just kidding. I'm 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 sorry. Save hey, it. Hey, have I'm, fun. I'll talk no. to you later. Move. Pop off then. I didn't mean to ruin your night like that. I'm, I'm sorry. Bye bye. How much they got in that dang tiny flask if they right. can get that drunk? Just just get some water. Right. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. Like that, whatever's in that flat, it would be about strong as hell. Yeah, like that. They don't even, can't even hold that much in that stuff. Here he comes. Oh, and he's been drinking. What? You've been drinking? What? Your dad can smell it. I can smell it. The whole town can smell it. It's not that big a deal. Excuse me? Okay, both of you, call a ride share and go home right now. Yes, ma'am. I'm are going anyway. Go faster. <laughs> Wait, y'all are parents. Y'all supposed to take them home. We need call a ride. I, like, totally sleuthed my way onto her phone to get Derek's location. So then I thought, WWLD, what would Lois Lane do? Which is easy what to would keep Lois her Lane do? Lead only. I never would have thought it would lead me to him making out with Leslie Lahr. Leslie Lahr is there with Derek Powell? Yeah, she, she took him to this building where there's this crazy... You need to drive off. Machine. Oh, okay. Clark's going. Cool. But uh, that just means there's about to be a fight. And he, I need him to stop disappearing in front of everybody like that. Right. Because somebody go see. What is this? Protect the asset. What? He's luring Superman away, but why? What is the asset? What, was that an egg or something? Speed and flight pattern unique to Kryptonian air mobiles. Camel's here. I don't need that fast. Oh, you mother. Mm. Who's, whose place was that? I don't know, but still, that's Come on, bro. something you want to wake up to. You know? There's two of them. Though I have still yet to identify the other. Where they go? Flight algorithm suggests a five mile circumference. Continue on this road and we'll intersect in 23 seconds. Take over. Auto drive engage. The Surrey thing's so calm. Don't tell me he's about the suit. Are you serious? He's busy. Leave him alone. Okay. What is he doing to you? She resurrected Mikhail. 
I hear that. The music. I can help you. I can. The same things that happened to that one kid happened tonight. He's killing himself. Wow. Go get some business, pal. I'm really sorry, and I promise that- Stop. It's what? okay. This is your one Even Lois get out like... of jail free card. What? It is? Wait, <laughs> seriously? Jonathan, I told you I know how you feel, and I do. When I was just a couple years older than you, I did leave home. Why? Lots of reasons. The main one was that I needed to become someone else. Someone I thought was more important than Clark Kent. And to do that, I had to leave Smallville. And he never came back. I still think about that decision. That time that I gave up with my mom, I never got it back. She only had so much time to give, and she sacrificed it for me. Jonathan, you have your own path. And it might not feel like it right now, but I know it's going to lead to great things. All I'm asking is that you give Smallville a little more time. If after that things still aren't working out, then we can discuss other options. OK. I want to give you something. Something from that time in my life. Oh, I thought he was gonna hit. Told you he was gonna give it to him. Dad, there's nothing in here. The box is the gift. Your granddad gave that to my mom when he proposed, and she gave it to me when it was my time to leave. Wow. All right, it's getting late. You better go. So you before we you gave him a box. <laughs> Yeah. He's, he's gonna give Jordan the crystal. He said he'd been resurrected. Whatever that means. Well, whatever Edge and Leslie are doing with that machine it has something to do with the mines. So why didn't Clark go back there? To the machine. That's a good question. Martha Kent was everything this town aspires to be. She was kind, she was generous, and she was always there when you needed her. Everyone in Smallville can remember her sitting right here. Her spirit remains, and she will be. Great, right so now people can sit down here. Her. In memory. But that's sweet. People do that a lot, actually. A teacher that was at one of my schools had died, and they made her a bench. Link. Link him? Yep. It's time, Clark. Where did he get the income? Probably took a long time. He just seems so young. Yeah, I know. Like in middle school. Or like a freshman. He said he was a couple years older yeah. than Jonathan. Jonathan's 14, so he might have been 18. Yeah. That was so selfish. Everybody is at that age. It's part of growing up. Yeah, but Mom knew that. She wanted me to go anyway. Because she loved you and she wanted you to be happy. Go find you something to do, Luther. Enjoy this second chance at life you got with a good Superman instead of trying to make an evil one now. Biometric readings suggest your pulse is abnormally high. This must be about Lois Lane. It is worth reminding you that this is not the Lois Lane from your world. Yeah. Everything about her is the same. Everything except she marries someone else. Come back to me. Oh! There are other variables that you have not done. You shouldn't have did that. That's the only friend you got to talk to. That's why he was looking for, not because he was looking for Superman. Wow. What earth was he from? Hot twist. I hope he's okay with him. Ooh. 
What is this? Is that the dude from last episode? Hi. Yeah. What did you do to me? What? Damn! Oh, we gotta wait till May. Are they serious? Wow. Good episode as always. A um, few twists there at the end. I knew that that guy was... Um, that was him right there at the end. I knew it as soon as it happened because, I mean, with the height, and the fact that um, why would you, there's nobody else who would go after Jordan like that, so. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, shoot, if I got superpowers from somebody, I wouldn't be mad at him. Like, why are you mad, bruh? Why are you mad? Go be a superhero. All right. Like, why are you mad? Like, if I got powers, I'd go be out there being a hero. Yeah. You know? Not a vigilante, but I'd be a hero. I could... They're widely accepted in this world. Now, if in our world, since we don't have nobody like that, we don't have vigilantes or heroes, our people here would fear the first superhero. Kind of like Man of Steel, when he Clark was the first person to come out as an alien, everybody was terrified. But then they come to respect him as he came to do good. But it's literally like you'd have to be really careful, not make any mistakes, and you'd have to really work hard to... Um, get people to trust you and really you got to get because the government's automatically not going to trust you you got to get the people on your side like because they are the biggest influencers so yeah it'd be interesting i'd have to hide my identity and be very careful because i'm a registered human so fingerprints and things like that exist so and hair samples all of that so it'd be tough but i think i'd try it I, I, I wear, like, because of hair samples, I, like, put my hair up, braid it, and a ponytail braid. Then I'll put, like, a tight, tight head thing on. You gonna look like a fool. No. But I feel like in our real world, yeah. I feel like because our world is loves superheroes so much, I feel like a superhero here would be accepted quickly. Yeah. I feel like that because we all love comic books and stuff so much. So, like, the first hero, everybody be like, wow. Like, and then everybody would want to be one themselves because we all know last December I was robbed of my superpowers. Black people were supposed to get superpowers and then we didn't. Uh, robbed. <laughs> yeah. But um, about this episode, um, it was good. I liked the Captain Luther twist, I didn't see that coming. Even though it's weird to see a Luther with Lois, it really is. Yeah. Um, so that 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 makes um, that. his Earth a bit more interesting because all, the obvious thought probably through most people's heads was, oh, Lois died. That's what turned Superman evil on the other Earth. But he never met Lois, clearly, or, you know. So something else drove him evil on his Earth. So that'll be kind of interesting to explore. Or what? maybe. The first was with um, Luther because he said, uh, wherever Lewis is, Claire, uh, Superman is nearby. Is that what he said? Yeah, he said that when he was watching um, her and the one girl with the bob cut talk through their window. But then why did he seem so surprised when... She she he's seen her with Clark. I don't know because she had a ring on her finger, right? So. But then what? What would be the connection? And was it just because his love was always reported on Superman, always followed him? Like what? What was the connection? Like yeah. why did he know? Why would he? If his love wasn't with Superman, why would he think that she he'd be around her? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But we just gotta explore that. But. I like that they didn't just do it predictable. I like that they actually put some thought into it and decided to put a twist on it. That was cool. Um, I already kind of mentioned the whole J uh, Jordan and Jonathan swapping spots. So it was kind of interesting to see what they do with that. Because um, 
because that was one of my appraisals of his character and why I liked him so much was that, you know, despite the things that were happening to him negatively, he kept good spirits and he just wanted his brother to get better. But I knew I could see that things kept tacking on and, and piling on and on. And he was going to start to it was going to start to bother him like any human being like. So it was kind of good. I'm I'm glad they actually did have him lash out because it's justifiable. I mean, I you know how it was when our mom wanted to move when I was around his age. Because you guys moved now, but I'm older and I stayed back. But And I had that choice because I'm older. I'm an adult now. But when I was younger and mom brought the idea, I was totally against moving. And I wanted to stay in high school with my friends and start my path to where I was. So I totally relate to not wanting to move, you know, uproot my life and everything I know and just go somewhere and have nothing. I don't know. How do you feel? Because you lived here. You had friends and a life here. So what was that like for you having to uproot it and now be out of town, moving somewhere completely different? I don't know. It's weird. I guess. Do you feel like, I don't know, you have more going for you here? House. Yeah. So you feel like you, you enjoy things more here? Yeah, because I, because I like knew more things down there. Yeah. I have more houses to go to. More things to do, yeah. So that's my biggest thing. I, when I go down there, it's just going to be family. I'm, I'll be basically alone. So that's why I was never the biggest fan of moving. So if that's why you, if you, any of you are new to the channel and wondering why we do our videos virtual, it's because we used to live together, but we don't now. If she moved. We will be very soon. Yeah, I will be moving down there, but I had to finish college. But still, that was just a little bit of our story and how we dealt with the moving situation. So we totally kind of relate to them on a level. Though, I mean, I don't know if any of us got the Jordan treatment of like our life um, tremendously getting better. I mean, our life has always been pretty good. So I don't think any of us, neither of us have been at a low like that to have to move to come up. But um, in, a, in a way we relate. Um, um, what else did you like about this episode? Or dislike? Sarah. The one jo Jordan likes? Sarah. Yeah, her and her father were, like, bonding, but she cut that off real quick as soon as he started singing. That was kind of funny. I want to see, they give that family a lot of spotlight. Not a lot, but a, de a fair amount each episode. So I'm like, I'm wondering what their goal with that family is. Like, why do we get so many scenes with Lana? I mean, I get Sarah. She's a love interest for Jordan. But Lana and the dad, why do we see their relationship so much? Like, what do they want to do with those characters? That's one thing I don't know. They just kind of show them throughout the episode doing stuff around town. But, like, what is their end game with those characters? Like, what? We see the deterioration of their marriage. We're seeing they have a strained relationship with Sarah. Sarah's getting better. But where is all this going? Like, what is the purpose? I feel like one of her parents are gonna die soon. But what? What? I mean, but what does that do for them? Because we know Sarah in the past was kind of suicidal. I believe that's what they were hinting at. So yeah. What? I, I, that would only negatively affect her character. So what, I, I feel like that would just be kind of backtracking on her character. So what? I want to know what they're trying to do here with them. I don't know. Like, are they trying to mold them into villains? Or, like, it's like, because we know Jonathan accidentally gave somebody else power, so it could happen again. Is one of them going to get powers? We're going to have, like, a family dynamic issue? Like, what, what are, like, you, like you said, one of the parents could die, and Sarah could get powers somehow and turn evil. Or, like, like I don't know what they're doing with them. But they have some. Go ahead. If they turn it, like, really dark, dark, Sarah can accidentally get powers and kill one of her parents. It, you know, you're right. Or if Morgan Edge, acts, like, takes her and gives her power. Because we see that um, the son couldn't control his. 
he set the building on fire. So yeah, yeah. she could accidentally kill them. Or she could accidentally self-destruct, kind of, after she gets powers instead of, like, killing one of her parents on accident. And then that can drive, like, Jordan. Do you you think they're going to make one of the children evil? Either Jordan or Jonathan? I don't know, but maybe not Jordan or Jonathan, but Sarah maybe, yes. I just, I wonder, because since the show started, they kept them at opposite spots. You know what I mean? One's low, one's high. So they're keeping them opposite. So I wonder, like, if there's, like, a way one of them would snap. And one would be a hero, one would be a villain. And, you know, Clark in the middle. And because that's his kid. I don't know. There's so many ways they can write it. Like, I... I get, I know, I, it's like some shows I can predict what they're going to do, but this realm of, like, I don't know much about his kids in the comic books or what they become. So, I, it's kind of interesting to me, and I really just want to know. Like, I want to get to the juice and the meat and the drama. Like, I want to get there. I'm so, like, and we have a day break, and this show is so good. Mm-hmm. So, we got to wait till May. Uh, but... I don't know, great series. I don't know that I have too much to add. I do want to know what that, like, I mean, I know they're resurrecting people and giving them powers, but I wonder why Morgan Edge is doing that and what his ultimate goal is. Because it doesn't, I didn't get the vibe that he hated Superman. Like, because he's doing this in other cities, so it doesn't seem like he wanted anything to do with Superman, but he's clearly getting kryptonite, getting, giving people Superman's powers. So I'm like, what is he trying to do here? And is it targeted at Superman? I don't think so. I don't feel that way either. I think it's just a coincidence Lois came here and he was here and she kind of knew some shady crap about him. I think that was pure coincidence, but I don't think he really wanted Superman on his radar. Definitely not. So. That would be everything. Yeah, so that's interesting too. There's a lot. I feel like even with these five episodes, we've it's been good, and I'm enjoying it, but I feel like story-wise, we're, it's moving slow. Like, we're not getting the meat yet. They're just tenderizing it. We and, and it ain't in the oven yet. Like, it's all seasoned and ready to go, but we got to, you know, we got to put that in the oven, watch it get juicy and sizzle. Then we got to let it come out, cool down, and then we can finally start digging into it, like, I feel like that's how it is. That's how it's going right now. Like <laughs> that's my analogy of the situation. <laughs> All right. Well, be sure to let us know what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe to Patreon for full reactions. And we will see you guys on the next one in May. <laughs> Check out our Supergirl reactions if you guys watch that show. So we'll be doing that next week. And we also, obviously, of course, watch. Black Lightning, The Flash, etc. Batwoman, yeah. So, catch those reactions. See y'all later. Bye.